All right, guys, so since a lot of you have been requesting for an American dish, I'll be cooking the T-bone steak. This is just basically steak seasoned salt. So, but you just salt generously, guys. Salt generously and then just spread it all over the meat. We have this skillet here, or we can just call it a pan. Make sure it's piping hot. So what we're doing, guys, in here is we'll just be see we're just gonna be searing the outer layer of the meat, just like that. The purpose is that to seal the juices in the meat. So, now that this is piping hot, you see the smoke and everything? Boom. And then, don't touch it. We'll leave it there for just one minute and then we'll flip it over and sear the other side. And now we're just gonna flip it over. Boom. And this is what we want, guys. You see the caramelization here? That's what we want. We want to sear it so that the juices stay inside the meat. And then, we put it here. Boom. Inside the oven for uh, 12 minutes each side. Now our steak is done. Boom. We will just make sure to let it sit here. Now guys, here's the thing. Abby, tell us what's the um, level of doneness for our steak. So there's rare, medium rare, medium, medium well, and well done. And medium well is unfriend, and well done is blonde. Uh-huh. <laughs> now our steak is ready. Now we will have to cut it up. Now, important guys, very, very important to cut right through the middle. So, make sure it's done. Oh, oh my gosh, guys. Boom. That's how you do it. And we'll just cut this up. We'll just remove this from the bone because this is a T-bone steak. Boom. Right there. What would you say? It's medium rare? Yeah, medium, medium rare. rare. Yeah, perfect guys. The best steak is either rare or medium rare. Okay guys, so since this is a, an authentic American <laughs> dish, I'm gonna have my wife be the judge and see if it actually passes the test, or uh, passes the authenticity test. So here it is guys, I just removed the bones. And yeah, babe, okay. ready when you are? All right, let's cut into it. I think this piece looks really good, so I'm gonna cut into this piece. Ooh. Love the juice. And here's the thing, guys. My number one culture shock when I first got here is that I saw um, Americans eating a huge chunk of meat without rice, without anything on it. So mm -hmm. usually this steak, um, it's good eaten with... Potatoes. Potatoes and what or else? Or like steamed veggies. Yeah, steamed veggies. But, of course, guys, we don't have that, so we're improvising. And... This huge chunk of meat is already big enough for both of us. Yeah, this particular steak is already a whole meal. Yeah. So, for yeah. both of us, it's really big. And another culture shock for me, guys, is that I was like, you guys are eating um, raw meat? Because look at, the, look at the juices, guys. It looks like blood. And this one, obviously, still looks like it's red, so it looks, still looks like raw. Mm -hmm. But, guys, it's not. It's not raw, and those juices are actually not blood. No. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So how, how is it's it? It's not raw. It is cooked. I understand that maybe it doesn't look like it's cooked if yeah. you're not used to eating meat like this, but trust me, if you cook a steak like this all the way, it's going to taste gross. <laughs> right. That's yeah. just the way of it. Even when I was a little kid before I had ever had steak like this, my family tried to feed it to me all the way cooked. I didn't like it. I thought I hated steak growing up until I had it like this and I was like, oh, this is amazing. 
Yeah. Okay. I do like steak. <laughs> it just really depends on how you cook it. Because when it's more cooked, in my opinion, you lose a lot of the flavor. It's dry. And usually, it's guys... It's good. Uh, yeah, and usually, guys, we feel, uh, as Filipinos, we eat everything with rice. It doesn't matter if it's in the morning, in the afternoon, or yeah. in the evening. And um, as I mentioned earlier, one of the um, culture shocks for me is that uh, people here usually eat a huge chunk of meat without rice with it or without anything with it but this one guys if you want to add rice if you want to like add um a filipino fusion to it you can definitely eat it with rice but yeah. um in my case i actually like eating it just like that and mm -hmm. if there's any sides i eat the veggies and stuff you know one of the things babe i learn mm -hmm. um about cultures yeah. is that when in rome you do as the Romans do. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. You don't revise. It's the guys, very important tip. The easiest way to insult someone's culture is that you alter the way they prepare their food. Especially before you even taste it. Yes. Like, you better put it in your mouth and try it if you're going to add some yeah. seasonings or something. Because otherwise... Right. Like, that's just rude. Trust me. That's if you rude. put <laughs> Yeah. If you put ketchup on my adobo... Oh, no. I'm going to be... <laughs> First of all, that would be awful, but <laughs> but insulting. Oh yeah. my gosh. But anyways, guys, there's another thing we want to talk to you about. We want to thank you for your support. What would you? What do you say, baby? Yes, yeah. absolutely. I mean, our channel's been growing, and we're so grateful that you guys have been, you know, subscribing and been leaving lots of awesome comments for us. It's 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 awesome, and I think pretty soon we're actually. We're going at a pretty increased rate than before. In the beginning, our channel was growing really s pretty slowly, but now we're at, we're at a pretty steady pace. And and, it, and it's because of our Lottie family. Absolutely. Here's the thing, guys. We will have a very very special announcement if, for example, we hit our ten thousand first ever ten thousand YouTube subscribers. Of course, we're gonna have that special Q and A live session. Even though we have done videos about us answering your questions and everything, there's still a lot of questions that you guys want us to answer. So we thought as a, or in return, if we hit our first ever 10,000 YouTube subscribers, we're going to do a special Q&A live session and we will answer all your questions. You, you up for that, babe? Yeah, I think that sounds like a really exciting yeah. plan. And we will have a very special announcement on that live session. Mm -hmm. So you you better you better watch out. Yeah, stay tuned for that, yeah. guys. Anyways, guys, we thank you for this is only possible because we have viewers like you. Yeah. And we want to thank you. We have a lot of Lodi fam, babe. Yeah, we do. Has and that was requesting for a shout out and we haven't given a shout out but you know what um there's a lot you know what um do we have more let's let's just give them a shout out because we want to thank them Sorry. we want to recognize them for all that they do before we let them go we want to give them a shout out let's go okay, okay. iris javert joeanos rufi and silly kovacha from manila and how old are they they're 79 and 73. Yeah, here's the thing guys. When we first started this YouTube channel, we actually thought that we will only, our demographics will just be... Probably people our age. <laughs> people our age, you know, probably 16 years old. And up. And not necessarily up, because that's going all the way to 100 well, okay. something. <laughs> so at least 16 years old up to... Teens to like... Um, maybe yeah. late 30s. Yeah. That's That's what we thought but seeing this we have you know subscribers and people who are part of our lobby fam who uh, who are 79 to 73 years old mm -hmm. isn't that heartwarming yeah <laughs> yeah anyways thank you what's the name rufi and and Sally, I don't Sally. know if I'm saying that. Yeah, right. that's right, Sally. And Sally, okay. thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching our videos and for subscribing, becoming a part of the Lottie Fam. Okay, now we'll continue on. Joseph Lacanilao, Cherry 
Vase from Muscat Oman. Kuyanoi from Abu Dhabi. Is that how you say that? Yes. That's what I thought. Abu Dhabi, um, United Arab Emirates. So, okay. Again, we want to say hi and mabuhay to our overseas Filipino workers. The Can you heroes. say mabuhay? Mabuhay. Yeah, they are the real life heroes. Okay. Dante Castriciones. Music, canta from Mindanao. Yeah, music is music, canta is sing. I oh, just like Spanish. Yeah. Okay, and let's see, where did I go? Okay, from boy Licaros, and he says he's got a YouTube channel, so if you guys want to, check him out. Frank boy Licaros. Uh, Caitlin Joyce Baines, Bogart Rojo from Davao, Yano Vic Lumidao, Alejo Fuertes from Iligan City, Philippines. Neil Esperano from Baliwag, Bulacan. Butch Sampiano from Israel. I remember we gave a shout out to you before. Nice to see you back that you're st still watching our videos. Um, let's see, Jaina Rocamora from Misamis Oriental, Philippines. Benny Matukan from Qatar. Renan Peteza from Bicol, Philippines. Jude Gosino from Ghana, West Africa. Holy cow! That's, I think, the first person we've yeah. seen from Africa. <laughs> JC Justinian from TV from Laos. Wow. I think that's the first person from Laos, too. Taddy Channel. Check out his YouTube channel also. Taddy Channel. Okay. Chona and Robert Savage. Amaru, Riri, Krizel, Rosalo, Christian, Turingan. This is a family. <laughs> yeah. Those are all their names. And friends of the Raito Juan. Righteous one. Righteous one. Yeah. And that's it, guys. There's still a lot of our Lottie fam who were who, who's requesting for, for a shout out, but we didn't get to you guys. But then there's been again, a lot lately. yeah, there's been a we're lot. We're trying lately. to get to everybody. And here's the thing, guys. We read all your comments. But anyways, guys, we're gonna let you go. Leave some comments, suggestions, and we thank you guys. We appreciate you. Stay safe. Anything you want to say before we let them go? Well, thanks for tuning in for our video today, guys. Yeah. Some of you were requesting you wanted Mark to make an American food, so he did that with steak if you wanted to see any more. And this is just actually another way of... A, so this video is mainly us talking to you, our Lottie family, yeah. because we actually haven't gotten the chance to actually talk to you um, uh, in this kind of setting. But anyways, guys, uh, we're going to enjoy this steak. That's how you cook it. Uh oh. I'm sorry, but. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I have allergies. <laughs> okay. It's allergies, guys. It's not COVID, okay? This happens every day <laughs> of my life. <laughs> but, anyways, guys, thank you. And until next time, nice talking to you. Bye bye. Bye.